All right. I'm gonna show something today I had never done. I just did four of them. And what I'm doing is I'm decapping stock injectors. These are the stock injectors out of Jamie's truck. Let me tilt down a little bit more. Give this thing some fucking angle. All right, these are the stock injectors out of Jamie's truck. And a bunch of people have been talking on the sloppy forum, sloppy, you know, Facebook page about decapping the stock injector and getting a lot more flow. So I'm actually gonna decap all these and send them out and get them flowed just for fun because people have seen, you know, 78 pounds out of a, this is a stock 25 pound injector and people are seeing upwards of like 78 pounds worth. So what's pretty awesome is if you have an injector roughly this size and you decap it, you have enough to make, you know, budget horsepower amount, four or five, 600 maybe horsepower. So that'll be really cool to see. These are out of Jamie's stock truck. What I might even do is pull her 80 pounders and put these back in at some point and see how far they can go, uh, see how they work. So I just read my buddy's review on the sloppy wiki page. Imagine that. I read all of his info that he included, Dale Follett, and basically you take the lower o-ring off. Now I, I haven't done this before ever, so it was a neat experience. He's using a bench grinder and it's a little dark and uh, he doesn't have good close-ups. No offense, Dale. So I'm gonna try to steal a little bit of his thunder and uh, show you how I do it anyway. And one thing you can do to pop off this lower shield is just hit it with the flathead. Once you get the o-ring out, you can't beat up the o-ring and you just pry in between. I don't know how clear that'll be. Hopefully it's okay. But anyway, you walk this guy up far enough, comes right off and you put it back on then holds the o-ring in place. It's nice. Now, what we're looking at is there is a little like a fusion weld, like a heat weld, spot weld or whatever have you. And there is this cap here that is tacked on basically. And then under here is the little pin tool and these are restricting the amount of flow basically. So what you want to do is I use this guy, he was using a table grinder. Well actually, I'll show you something else first. You can actually pry up on the lip on these. I'll show you real quick. I was able to, with these, let me make sure you guys can see this. You can cut the edge of this and peel it. But what you run into is the, where that spot weld is, you can't get rid of this. But I'll show you a neat trick. We'll just peel this. What would be neat, see that? Is if you could peel the whole thing, but trust me, it is very well tacked in there with friction or spot weld or something. But you can take this whole lip off and you don't have to mess with it later. Tiny little dikes, no problem. And then what I found out is, dump that shit down in there. What I found out is pretty neat. I have a really rough carbide bit on this guy. And if you walk around the edge, when you cut enough of the spot weld out, it'll fling the cap over. So you know when you can peel the cap out. Right there. I'll let this slow down so you can hear. Right there. You can see I was grinding at the edge and it kicked the lip off. Kicked the lip open. 
so honestly you can just grab it now see that you can expose the the little pintle head and then from here that's the cap from here on out all you got to do is ping, little cap you just got to clean up that little edge there so nothing falls into your motor or anything else and uh So that is pretty well cleaned up. Again, I'm gonna have to check this video and see how good these close-ups can be. And uh, for the next, for the other two, I'm not gonna video. I'm gonna do two, so this is the first one. The next one, I'm not gonna video. I'm gonna try my best to get really good close-up shots. So you make sure this whole, you know, if the video doesn't come out as nice, at least you can see the process, and then you can see everything else. And you put the O-ring back in, and this plastic cap, you just kind of pinch it on and get it aligned. And I just use the my dead below flathead screwdriver, remover and installer. See, nice and neutral, reinstalled, spins nice, ready to rock. So I'll do one more. And then for the next part, I'm not gonna video. I'm gonna try to take nice, pretty pictures, update the page and whatnot with. All right, try to clean this biatch up. And so I don't beat up this ring. I'm going to use a nice little tiny pick. I'm going to walk the ring off. Put the ring down. And again, we're going to... Sorry if I keep looking at funny angles here. I'm trying to look at my phone at the GoPro app and make sure I get all this in frame. Because on wide angle, you probably wouldn't see shit. So it's on narrow, so it's not, it doesn't get as much. All right, there's the cap, there's the injector. We're ready to rock, basically. I'll do the same shit. And I will clip the edge off. Let's clean up later. What would be cool is one time if I do this, the whole top peels right off, but that's doubtful. As you can see, it peels right around the weld. See it? Nice. goes. We'll shut her down again. I don't know how well you can see that. Can you see it? Cap off. Cap's gone. And then obviously you do not want to scratch or grind the fuck out of that injector tip.
All right. No rough edges. Feels nice and smooth. Didn't nick anything up. Luckily again. The O-ring, put the O-ring back on. Take the plastic cap, put the cap back on. Give it a little smush. It wants to kind of seat. A few taps, three taps, we're good. So, next one I'll take pictures of, but that's pretty much it. That's how I saw it done and that's how I'm doing it and we'll see how it works out.